again and mostly healthy food reviews <laughs> what's going on party people so i got one question before we get started did you miss me did you miss me <laughs> gotta love it gotta love it today guys Starting your Monday off right, I'm actually going to continue on my journey through the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut, the largest city in Connecticut, and to be honest with you, probably one of the most diverse areas as far as food goes. Now, Connecticut Magazine for 2022 had named 12, a dozen different restaurants in the area, small mom pie establishments, places that you're not familiar with, places you may be familiar with, and basically he said these are the best restaurants in our city. So for the entire month, what I've been doing is going through Bridgeport, Connecticut and that list on Connecticut Magazine to determine if the food is actually as good as they say it is. Who but this guy, right? In either case, I'm gonna swing over real quick over to Howling Hot Chicken, located on Main Street. North Main Street, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Now, I was there a little while ago with my cousin, Dame, and we actually did a review on Howling Hot Chicken. I'm in Bridgeport, Connecticut today. I'm over on Main Street. As usual, I'll drop the address in the description below. Now, I decided for part two, I'm gonna slide over to Howling Hot Chicken. Ooh. This cat right here. I say, ooh. Yo. Dame drops, he's in the building with me. Yo. could have used some love i'm not saying drake versus meek mill light and dark no we're not saying that no but it was just darker than bird cold chicken was as an example or any other chicken Bur that yo, you say, say what it is. bird cold chicken is bigger it is bigger y'all yeah, just saw the video bird cold chicken is bigger and then you have howling hot chicken right so if i were gonna, i had to do a comparison like this this is bird cold this is howling hot right right like that right right for the difference, bro, is what I need to discuss. Two tenders yes. for that meal piece. Eleven ninety nine here at Howlin' Hot Chicken. Wait, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. You gonna hold it? All right, guys. Look at this part of the video that we just did. So you can see the price points. So as you see, we had an opinion. And one of the biggest things that we actually discovered with Howlin' Hot is that besides the food being good, it's very pricey. It's extremely pricey. As a matter of fact, it's probably pricier than a lot of their competitors. So I decided to come back the second time, find out if the things have changed at all as far as prices, maybe, I don't know. And as far as the food itself, is it good? I want to try the slider that Dame had that time. And I didn't have it that moment at all. And I want to see what it tastes like. Is it any good? Uh, I got questions. I got questions. In either case, let's run in here real quick. I just pulled up. Find out what's going on with Howlin' Hot Chicken. As usual, very real review time, mostly healthy food reviews. Let's go.
So there you have it. This is Howling Hot Chicken. And like I said, I've been here before, so I can't say it's my first time being here or anything, but this is my first time having their slider. This is my first time I'm actually just grabbing a drumstick. Did you see how big this thing was? Look how big my hands are. I got long fingers, and to be honest with you, this drumstick was like Fred Flintstone <laughs> cartoons where they got this big brontosaurus. I don't know how big this chicken was, but that came, I'm almost speechless. Chicken itself was huge. It was cooked nicely. It was done real nice. They actually um, seasoned and prepared it well. I decided to go with a mild on mine. Um, they put a little bit more heat than a mild, I'm pretty sure. But in either case, it was decent. Came with a little pickle slice as far as the drumstick goes. And it, it was all right. It was a piece of chicken, right? A little greasy for my taste, but it is what it is. This is Howlin' Hot Chicken, and this is what they do. They like to put pickles on top of drumsticks. All right, I'm playing along. Would I get the chicken again for $2 and almost $3 maybe? I don't know if I would get it again because honestly, it was an expensive piece of chicken. If I have one piece of chicken, I can actually go to my local grocer. This is a true story. And I can actually get a pack of chicken for two dollars and i can get chicken pieces and stuff thighs and legs you, you get the point i'd probably shave a dollar off that price guys if you guys are trying to be competitive howling hot if you're trying to be competitive i'd probably shave a dollar off of the price of your drumsticks i'm just saying it was good though we'll say it was good next up i actually had one of their sliders now the slider i got was a mild the slider itself has a bun which is nice and and soft and buttery and toasted or what have you so it was good it actually had the the branding of the of the product on it which i thought was interesting i've never seen that before so that was interesting also it actually comes with coleslaw so they put slaw on the bun 
okay. They actually put pickles on the bottom of it as well. They don't overly put a lot of seasoning on it, which I actually do enjoy. That way it gives me a chance to actually taste the chicken more instead of eating a bunch of condiments instead of actually trying the chicken itself. I did have to wait a little bit for my chicken. So it came out nice and hot and that's okay because it was very little to no people in there when I was in there just now and I honestly had to wait about 10 maybe 15 minutes for my food. If you guys come in I think on a busy day it's probably going to be a little bit of a wait so you might want to try to call your order in and or order online I'm assuming. I spent $19, $17 before tax, $19 on a slider sandwich with fries. The fries I got were crinkle cut. They came with the sandwich with the slider and they were actually some of my favorite fries. And that's crispy and soft. And that's exactly how I like my fries. So no need to put ketchup on them or anything. I wanted to try them exactly for what they were. And they were a work of art. So guys, thank you for the nice fries. One of the things that we were talking about in our very first video, Dame and I, is that the pricing is, it's extravagant. It's a lot. It's something that people are not really going to want to spend a lot of money on all the time. So with that being said, Howling Hot Chicken, you guys do have a great, great product, line of products, really good, flavorful. They are what they are. They taste very fresh, but the pricing and stuff may be a deterrent for a lot of people. I'm just letting you guys know, and I'm here to help as far as the public and as far as the consumer and as far as the company. So that much has not changed. It's still very expensive to come eat that Howling Hot Chicken. For that same size sandwich, I can get one from a competitor, truthfully, for $6, $7 tops. And I'm talking about the same size sandwich. And I'll name names if you need me to. But you guys may want to think about that. It's also a selling factor for a lot of people. Would I come back to Howling Hot? I would. I just wouldn't come here all the time, primarily because of the price. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, do me a favor. Click subscribe. Turn notifications on. That way you get the videos when I drop them. Mondays, Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. That's what I'm saying. The time I drop my videos, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. Mondays and Fridays. And during the week is time permits. Usually a Wednesday or Thursday. This is Claude, mostly healthy food reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Newsbreak, TikTok. I'm on all social media platforms. If there's a health bonus to my food, it's an added bonus. <sighs> Holla Hot Chicken, great, great product. Again, the pricing is going to be a deterrent. You guys may want to think about that a little bit. Y'all be cool to the other side of the pillow. I'll talk to you next time.